Hi there, Chris here. So yesterday I did a quick pick Thursday on this Dorma. And I called this pin a tapered pin. And a lot of people said, well, it just looks like a mushroom to me. And I think that's actually a better <laughs> description of it. I've pulled out a Medico mushroom. Of course, they're bigger because it's a Medico. And they call these mushrooms. And so this has a sharp, sharper edge than this. But of course, Medico has other things going for it. So let's call them mushrooms. I have to agree with that. So that's that. I also got this mower lock, this mower padlock that I'm working on. And it's kind of a cool lock. There's the bidding on the key. And it takes this Squire uh, Euro. And this is kind of an interesting system to open it. You, you push the key or you turn the key all the way. And then if you want to take the core out, let's see if I can do this one-handed. We'll tilt down and get it a little closer. You turn the key only a little bit and push this little pin down until it goes down and then you can pull out the core. So you slide the core out and get ready to catch that pin so it doesn't go across the room. And this is this is how it is. So when the that when the key is in the locked position, it only goes down a little bit. And when it's in the unlocked position, it only goes down a little bit. But if you turn it just in between those two, you'll get, let's see if I can show this. You'll get it so it'll come out or go in and so you can get it out. So you have, <laughs> you have this spring in there and you have this little pin. And the little pin has a little, almost looks like a lock washer, I can't really tell. But sometimes, uh, if you don't have that squared up, it will, uh, <laughs> it won't push down. And then, we'll go ahead and cut this, oops. Let me use my follower, let's trade followers here. We'll just trade these out. I believe I need the smaller follower for it. And this, I'm gonna find a shim. This has one of those cores like the Dorma or maybe not like the dorm, I can't remember. Let's see. So what I want to do is I want to put my, my uh, key pins over here because I want to clear all the little cutouts for that retaining pin. And it's tight. You can get a shim in there, but you're not going to get your standard size follower in there. So I use this one I made up for Lockwood's um, some Lockwood cylinder locks. They're just a bit smaller and you can't get a shim in the follower through. And I always like to use a shim, so. so that makes it safe. So this is how this whole system works. And I have not picked this yet. It has some <laughs> kind of overset traps there. It's very cool lock, and it, it's very, very difficult to pick um, to get your sets. There's a, just kind of a minute feel 
when you get these guys. Let's see if I can find. I think there might be a spool up front, maybe. If I remember from picking. No, that's a standard. Let's see if we can find a spool. Yeah, there's there's one of the spools in here. And it's very sharp. And so you get caught in your false set and it's just a minute little tick. Come on, focus for me. To get get it <laughs> get it past that. So I'm very happy with this. Um, and I'm gonna go back and see. I think they might have offered another core in there. I don't know if, I can't remember if it was a dimple core or what, what they put in there. But I might check that out and get another one. So anyway, I thought that was kind of interesting, this cool mower. And I thought I would sort of correct my terminology on the uh, the mushroom pins. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Hit the like, subscribe, certainly leave a comment or a question, and we will see you next time.